Acne is a disease that involves the oil glands of the skin. It is not dangerous, but can leave skin scars. Your skin has pores, tiny holes, which connect to the oil glands located under the skin. The glands are connected to the pores via follicles, small canals. Sebum, an oily liquid, is produced by these glands. The sebum carries dead skin cells through the follicles to the surface of your skin. A small hair grows through the follicle out of the skin. Pimples grow when these follicles get blocked. In humans, when pimples appear, they tend to do so on the patient's face, back, chest, shoulders, and neck. Acne develops when the follicles get blocked and infected. Simply put, skin cells, sebum, and hair can clump together into a plug. The plug gets infected with bacteria, resulting in a swelling. A pimple starts to develop when the plug begins to break down. There are various types of pimples. Whiteheads remain under the skin and are very small. Blackheads, clearly visible. They are black and they appear on the surface of the skin. Remember that a blackhead is not caused by dirt. Scrubbing your face vigorously when you see blackheads will not help. Papules are visible on the surface of the skin. They are small bumps, usually pink. Pustules, clearly visible on the surface of the skin. They are red at their base and have pus at the top. Nodules are clearly visible on the surface of the skin. They are large, solid pimples. They are painful and are embedded deep into the skin. Cysts are clearly visible on the surface of the skin. They are also painful and are filled with pus. Cysts can easily cause scars. How common is acne? Dermatologist, skin specialist, say that approximately three quarters of 11 to 30 year olds will get acne at some time. Acne can affect people of all races and all ages. It most commonly affects adolescents and young adults. There are people in their 50s who still get acne. According to Brown University USA, approximately 17 million Americans are estimated to have acne at any one time. Although acne affects both men and women, young men suffer from acne for longer, probably because of testosterone, which is present in higher quantities in young men and can make acne worse. What causes acne? Nobody is completely sure what causes acne. Experts believe the primary cause is a rise in androgen levels. Androgen is a type of hormone. Androgen levels rise when a human becomes an adolescence. Rising androgen levels make the oil glands under your skin grow. The enlarged gland produces more oil. The excessive sebum can break down the cellular walls in your pores, causing bacteria to grow. Some studies indicate that susceptibility to acne could also be genetic. Some medications which contain androgen and lithium may cause acne. Greasy cosmetics may cause acne in some susceptible people. Hormone changes during pregnancy may cause acne to either develop for the first time or to reoccur. Treatment of acne. How your acne is treated may depend on how severe and persistent it is. The majority of people who get acne will develop mild acne. This can usually be treated with OTC over-the-counter medications. OTC medications can be bought at a pharmacy without a doctor's prescription. They are usually applied to the skin, topical medicines. Most acne OTC products may contain the following active ingredients. Resorcinol and sulfur helps break down blackheads and whiteheads. Benzol peroxide kills bacteria and slows down your glands production of oil. Salicylic acid reduces shedding of cells which line the follicles of the oil glands. Retin-A helps unplug blocked pores. Acelaic acid 
strengthens cells that line the follicles and stops oil eruptions, reduces bacteria growth. If your acne is more severe, you should consider seeing a dermatologist, a skin specialist. The specialist may prescribe a treatment that contains some of the active ingredients mentioned above. Prescription medications for acne are present in many forms such as creams, lotions, etc. Your dermatologist will decide what is best for you. Looking after your skin if you have acne. Wash your face about twice a day and do not wash it more often. Use a mild soap made especially for people with acne in warm water. Do not scrub the skin. Experts advise the use of an OTC lotion which contains benzoyl peroxide. Don't try to burst the pimples. You may push the infection further down, causing more blocking and worse swelling and redness. Popping pimples makes scarring more likely. If you have to get rid of a pimple for some event, such as a wedding or public speaking occasion, ask a specialist to treat it for you. Try to refrain from touching your face with your hands. When you are on the phone, try not to let the receiver touch your face. There may be sebum and skin residue on it. Keep your hands clean and wash them regularly. Always wash your hands before touching your face. This includes before applying lotions, creams, or makeup. Glasses should be cleaned regularly. They will collect sebum and skin residue. Your skin needs to breathe. If your acne is on your back, shoulders, or chest, try wearing loose clothing. Tight garments such as headbands, caps, and scarves should be avoided. If you have to wear them, make sure they are cleaned regularly. Don't go to sleep with makeup on. Only use makeup that is non-comedogenic or non-acnogenic. You should be able to read this on the label. If you cannot find it, ask the shopkeeper or the pharmacist. You should use makeup which does not have oil and does not clog up the pores. Hair collects sebum and skin residue. Keep your hair clean and away from your face. Too much sun can cause your skin to produce more sebum. Several acne medications make it more likely that you will be sunburned. If you shave your face, do it carefully. Use either an electric shaver or safety razors. If you use a safety razor, make sure the blade is sharp. Soften your skin, beard, with warm, soapy water before applying the shaving cream. What can make acne worse? Menstrual cycle, anxiety and stress, hot and humid climates, oil-based makeups, greasy hair, and squeezing of pimples. Please ask your health care provider for more information.